What's up guys, Sam here, and today I'm going to give you a new update on the Android for Lumia project. So, Windows Phone Internals was released a couple of weeks ago, maybe about a week and a half ago. People are asking me questions. Well, can we unlock the 640 now? Can we run Android on Lumia 640, 535, Lumia 730, 830, 930, anything that is newer than X2X? And the answer to that is, right now, we don't know. What we're doing right now is we are studying. Um, Roland Ferrer, Matthew Schwantes, and a entire team we have kind of going on Telegram now as a public group chat. Few of us are studying how Windows Phone Internals now works because the unlock type is completely different. So instead of being able to replace the bootloader, we now have to work within a certain small dot EFI app that Windows Phone runs on um, this time around. So we have to implement some sort of hack through that system in order to get the results we're looking for and make sure that we're able to do what uh, we can do. So for right now, we are unsure. I don't want to make any false statements, so that's the one I'm going to give. We are completely unsure right now with what we can do. Maybe some of you have seen on Twitter that people have been able to run Windows RT. So that's like what was on Surface 2 and the original Surface. And so people have been able to run that in builds of Windows and whatnot but we haven't been able to boot an actual Linux kernel yet. So there's a lot of things we're still studying and understanding how it works. The guy who developed Windows Phone Internals is currently trying to fix bugs as well. People with Lumia 950 and 950 XL have not been able to unlock their devices, so he's really investigating into that and other reasons why people uh, have been struggling with their devices to be unlocked, uh, firmware downloading and errors and whatnot, etc. So he's really looking into that and um, by the time we probably could figure out how to get this stuff to work, there should be a stable version of Windows Phone internals out. Heathcliff is doing a really good job, and he's really attacking these bugs. So that's been major props to him for releasing the software. Without him, we couldn't be any farther on devices that are newer than uh, X2X, like 526, 2720, etc. I also want to give a huge shout out to our team members, uh, Roland and Matthew. You guys are awesome. You do a lot of hard work. Matthew's the one who made Wi-Fi work back in August uh, or September. He really made the push in order to figure that out. So the next project for us right now is RIL, meaning SIM, phone calls, text messages, using your SIM card, all that good stuff. He's going to look into that as soon as he has free time. And we have another dev at Stricted. Some of you may know him from his work with the Galaxy S5 Neo and some other Galaxy devices running Lineage OS. Uh, he's helping out with camera, so maybe we can get that fixed as well. But all the small bugs and stuff are slowly going to come together after we get the major features working. And then we'll look to expand our version number of Android, maybe up to 7.1.2 uh, Nougat, or maybe even 8.0 Android Go or Oreo. But I don't see the devices um, getting there right now, so no need to worry about that. I do plan on continuing builds, so I'm going to try and release a new build about every month or so just to keep things fresh and with new updates. As I'm learning more and more, I'm able to provide more updates for you guys through the videos and through XDA. So if you want to find that link to that XDA form again, check the description and there's a link there that you can go and download the ROM. I also want to shout out to anybody who's donated in the past since the last video, if I even mentioned people that donated. Big shout out to you guys. There was one guy the other day who donated 35 British pounds, which converts to about 47 US dollars, 46, 47. Huge shout out to you. Um, I did give you a shout out on Twitter right here. And uh, thank you for donating because it really does help us a lot in supporting devices. I know you specifically wanted to get 650 support. And from the standpoint our project's at right now, I feel better investing in a Lumia 640 as that's really a good base device to run these tests off of. Um, because most of the Lumia devices that we're going to be working with now are based on a Snapdragon 400, a newer MSM uh, Snapdragon 400 so it doesn't relate to the older ones, uh, GSM Arena specs are slightly confused, or the Snapdragon 200 series. So most devices are based on that. So I feel like if I can get 640 and our team can figure out the bootloader stuff, it should be easier for me to debug everything on a Lumia 640 and it will touch base across almost all of the other Windows phones that are newer and that we could support. So that's a big thank you to everyone working on our project, everybody testing, everyone continuing to test. 
Um, I'll bring you more updates sooner. It's just been harder for me because I've been quite busy lately. And so I hope to do more updates like these for you guys. And I'm hoping for more of you to join our Telegram group chat at Android for Lumia right here and a link in the description. And there we kind of provide day-to-day -day updates, just discussion on phones and topics, whatever, but it relates all into Lumia stuff. So if you do want to check that out, feel free to go and check that out. Um, it's a super awesome place. Please don't ask if there's going to be a new ROM update or if there's going to be you know, an update to like the project or whatever. We are currently working on it in the background, but we may not show that publicly. So instead of asking, do you support 640? Do you support 535? Where can I find the version of Twerp? Where can I find the version of the ROM? Um, can we install gaps? All those answers can be found in the tutorial video that I made about half a year ago regarding installing Android on 5.2x series and 720. Um, if you read all the comments, you'll find your answer. If you read XD8, you'll find your answer. Um, there's no need to keep continuously repeating asking for newer devices supported. We will tell you when they are supported. So please don't bother us with messages like that as that uses up our time that we could be putting into working on supporting those other devices and other projects that all relate to Android for Lumia. Thank you guys all for watching this tutorial video. If you did like it and you want me to make more and motivate me to make more and find free time to do so, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. I wanna hear what you guys have to say. Just make sure if you have any questions before you ask them, rewatch this video or um, watch anything that I mentioned in this video and uh, I'll catch you guys all next time. Thanks.